Hello and welcome guys to the another video of our channel. I'm really happy because my channel is getting really good traction nowadays and many of you guys are liking my videos, uh, providing comments in the comment section and also subscribing and also asking me to make a request video. And whenever I get time, I try to read each of your comments and uh, try to make videos uh, depending upon your request if I can make video on that topic. So I'm really excited to make this another request video and in this video we are going to talk about poultry litter especially broiler litter and uses of those broiler litter. So let's get into the topic. So what is a broiler litter? If you look at this poultry house for example this is a poultry house I drew here and then if you look down here you can see these black things. Uh, these are called uh, poultry litter which is a mix of wood savings or rice hulls or straw and there could be some uh, spilled water, little bit of feed, feathers. So poultry litter is a combination of uh, wood savings, uh, feather, uh, feed, water and several other things. And uh, there is a little bit difference between uh, broiler litter and layer litter uh, because uh, broiler litter is usually thick and also uh, because of the difference between broiler feed and layer feed for example broiler feed could have more protein so that could also affect the composition of broiler and layer litter but in an average they will be very similar. So this litter is really important because it provides insulation to the poultry and also it provides cushioning material and also it provides non-slippery surface for the birds to walk on and if it is a layer uh, they can use um, this as a nesting material or foraging material as well and also it absorbs moisture so that uh, if they spill uh, water from their drinker that can uh, be absorbed and the uh, poultry house floor is not very slippery. So let's know some of the uses of uh, poultry litter or specifically broiler litter. So the first important use of broiler litter is it can be used as a fertilizer. Because uh, broiler litter is really high in nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium which are really important nutrients for plants. Broiler litter can be really useful for your plants. So if you look at this table here. Uh, you can see here broiler litter has almost 4% nitrogen, almost 1% phosphorus and almost 1.5% potassium. That means it is a really good source of NPK. And even if you go to the, to the market and buy artificial fertilizer, they usually have NPK. So if you can use broiler litter and replace those chemical fertilizer, that is really good for your soil because it is organic. There is one problem while you directly apply broiler fertilizer to the soil because it is really high in nitrogen, it can kill uh, kill the plants. Uh, so, so what you have to do is you have to process it uh, by deep stacking and uh, deep stacking let's say for a few months and after that it is ready to be used as a fertilizer. So it, it has to be composted before applying it to the it to the soil. And once you do composting what you can do is you can use that broiler litter um, at the dose rate of 15 meter cube per hectare. So following the nutritional analysis which I provided earlier in the table it can be used at the dose rate of 15 meter cube per hectare and if it is used at that dose rate it will supply almost 30 kg of nitrogen, almost 65 to 68 kg of phosphorus and almost around 88 to 90 kg of potassium. That means it has a great amount of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Uh, whether that is enough for your uh, plant or soil depends on your soil type, depends on how was the nutrient in that soil and also the requirement of plant. So this is one of the use of broiler litter. The another use of broiler litter is it can be used as a cattle feed. Because it has a good source of protein and minerals and ash and fiber, it can be really used as a, as a cattle feed. In some of the countries like Australia, it has been banned um, and it is referred as a restricted animal material due to the risk of salmonellosis or bovine spongiform encephalopathy and several other bacterial uh, issues. Uh, it has been banned in, in Australia, uh, but there are several other countries where it is still in practice. And if it is processed nicely, then uh, then that can be used as a is, as a cattle feed. What you have to do is you have to deep stack, and when you do deep stacking uh, under the ground, uh, then the temperature of the broiler litter rise almost up to 140, 150 degrees centigrade. That will easily kill Salmonella and other bacteria. So it has to be really processed nicely to kill all the bacteria. 
So if you look at this table, you can see that broiler liter has uh, crude protein average of 23% in, in between the range of 12 and 35. Also crude fiber is average 24% in the range of 11 to 52 and calcium is 2.9% average in the range of 0.7 to 5.3 and also ash is 25% in the range of 9 to 54. So that means it is a really good source of nutrient such as protein, fiber and minerals. So while using broiler litter for your for your cattle, for your cow, you have to follow this, uh, this chart. Um, so for example, if you see here, if your cows are dry brood cows, then you have to use it in the ratio of broiler litter to corn at 80 is to 20. So that means 80 kg of broiler litter and 20 kg of corn. And also you need to add vitamin A in the ratio of 1500 IU per pound of feed. And if it is average milking cow, you can use in the ratio of 70 to 30 broiler litter to corn. And if it is superior milking cow, you can use at the ratio of 65 is to 35. And if it is stocker, you can use at the ratio of 50 to 50. And you also need to add vitamin A to those diet. So this is another good use of uh, broiler feed and uh, also what you can do is you can collaborate with your local cow farmers and sell them uh, your broiler litter so that both of you can benefit from it. The another use of um, broiler litter is it can be used as a fuel source. So when you uh, process it appropriately using equipments like incinerator or fuel generator, then it can produce immense amount of heat and also it can produce electricity. So I'm not sure what would be the price of uh, that incinerator. It probably depends on your location. So if you can use that uh, to generate fuel, uh, what you can do is you can generate heat, which can be used to heat your water. Also the electricity generated from broiler litter can be uh, can be used to generate heat within your farm and also that electricity can be converted into light and the lighting program of your farm can be provided through broiler litter if you use appropriate equipment. So that is one of the really good use of use of uh, broiler litter as well. So guys these are some of the uh, uses of broiler litter. I want to say that uh, the use of broiler litter is regulated by by the law of your country so you really have to contact your local authorities and uh, local agricultural uh, officers uh, before knowing what are the rules and regulations whether the use of broiler litter is restricted for uh, particular purpose or not so you have to understand that so what you can do is you can just go to the agriculture office and ask them what is the regulation behind using broiler litter so you really have to uh, have to follow the rules and regulation of your local area and your local government so i hope guys you liked our videos if you like our videos please uh, leave your comments down below in the comment section also like and subscribe to our channel and also share our videos to to other people so that other people can benefit from it i'll see you again in next video until then bye thank you for watching